Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to quickly come on and do a little short video just to show something that I managed to do last night for my painting that I'm working on currently, which is Nightbringer from Diamond Art Club. It's a rather large canvas and my workspace is a little limited since I'm not using the craft room right now. And um, I'm a little over 50% done with the black, but I was worried about the painting just hanging over the edge of the table. So I wanted to do something with that. And I actually got the idea from a video that Pippa Brown showed on her channel quite a while back where she used some uh, toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls, <clears throat> the um, cardboard that the the tissues are rolled around, you know, but unfortunately I didn't have any of those available to me, so I went looking around for what I had on hand, um, and here's what I was able to, to get done, um, I've got a clothes clip holding the canvas in place because it was just rolling right off, springboarding, if you will, and then I made... A roll <laughs> and you see it goes all along the length of it there and comes out the other end so even for a bigger painting um, this same roll right here will come in handy and I'll be able to reuse it so that's great um, if you don't recognize what this is um, it is a, a people call it a boot or it's a mailing boot I don't know I've got another one here and I'll show you exactly what I did with it um, so give me just a minute let me put you down and get this set up uh, I'll go ahead and apologize I am sick so hopefully I'm not going to be too hard to understand um, I don't know if I've got the flu or just a really nasty rhinovirus but anyway I feel miserable but I'm trying to push through <coughs> so um, here is another boot that I received something one of my other Aliexpress paintings in um, and I had left it intact all, you know for all these months because I was thinking to be sure I can find something to do with this and as I said you know inspiration kind of hit me last night and I gave it a go and I was able to come up with something that works so maybe this will be a workable solution for you as well if you're like me and don't have the toilet paper roll or paper towel roll um, so all I did basically well this one's got plastic tape I need to pull off real quick I didn't notice that um, these sides here, they're just kind of adhered together. Um, it's not an air pocket there. So, move my tape there. I'm just going to cut down this whole side here. I'm not popping one of the air pockets, <clears throat> but I'm just separating the two. You could probably just pull them apart, but I'm not sure if that's adhesive holding them together or if the plastic sides are like melted into each other I just don't, don't know down here at the end there's like a little fold <laughs> you gotta kind of work it around and it'll release I just can't see it there and you see how that's kind of opened up and released there so that's one side open. Do the same for the other. And actually, <laughs> this this one right here is popped. So it's going to be no good to me. But that's all right. Let me do the same thing on this end. Cut it all the way down just to get it to release so it'll open all the way and lay flat. It's kind of hard to see something clear that you're trying to cut.
there that works yeah and actually the both sides the air was gone out of and I didn't realize it but that's it's okay D don't need it to be pretty we just need it to function so because these have been sitting around for a while there's a little bit of dust so I'm gonna make this so that the outside is the inside um and all I did was just literally roll it up. Just like that. Well, not not quite just like that. It this one's doing a little a little something something funny. Um it's a little bit more difficult to work with. And it might be because I'm missing one row because of the air coming out. But anyway, um I've got just some scotch tape that I use to tape it together once I have it rolled up so let me let me pull off a section here so I have it ready to go and actually this is a good substitute for um, for using like a um, gift wrapping tube for bopping someone over the head with you know did y'all ever do that or am I, am I the only weirdo that did that? Used to bonk people over the head with the wrapping paper tubes. You know, that, that was kind of like a an understood thing that would happen every time you're wrapping gifts. Primarily around Christmas time, I suppose. Or, you know, sword fights. The, the clean kind, not the dirty kind. This one is actually quite a bit shorter than the one that I made yesterday. So it'll work great for um, maybe if you have a more narrow painting, but it's still long. Oh, this tape is just frustrating me this morning. And there it did it again. Oh, my God. See, if I'm letting something as silly as tape get on my nerves, then... I really should just go back to bed. And I've taped it to that. Okay. One more piece and then we'll call it good. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking trying to show y'all something using clear materials. Not my finest hour. But either way, you kind of get the gist of it. See, now we have a tube. Um... Here is my end of night bringer that uh, I haven't done that I need to complete. So you can use these these types of things in a couple of different ways if you're limited on your space and you're you've been avoiding the larger canvases because of the space issue. Um, on this end, because it does not have diamonds on it, what I could do is just roll it this way with the image in the image size facing in and see here's my nice velvety backing it is on the outside edge but you could do it that way and put um you know some type of clip on either end here just to keep it from unrolling on you and then you would have this other area laid out flat for you to work on and then as you go you know you can slowly unroll this to give you more working area um or i mean that that's one use but the other way the way i'm using this end is the is my end that i've already got my diamonds on um now i do have this cover paper on here because i've left some of the areas undone i have not placed any of the diamonds on the deer itself all, I'm, I'm trying to save all the pretty colors. All I've put on this one is the black. Um, so it's still got some exposed glue. So I, I needed to make sure to protect that. So I've just got some of this paper covering it up from other canvases I've completed. But you can see on the way I've got it rolled, maybe down here on the end, you see the diamonds are on the outside. Um, that's one thing that that you need to make sure you do if you're going to roll an end that you've already put drills on you need to roll it so that the drills are facing out 
what happens is if you roll it with the drills in, they're gonna they're gonna get crunched, like squeezed, and they would pop or shift or fall off. Um, so you don't want to do that, um, but just ever so gently rolling them so that they are on the outside edge instead of instead of putting them like down in a V, you're putting them, you know, more in like a uh, what's the, well, what's the opposite of a V? I mean, I don't, I don't know. There's no such letter, but do you, do you understand when I'm saying, and I make it any sense, my poor brain, I probably shouldn't even be trying to do this today, but uh, either way, um, so <clears throat> what I did to do that, see, I'm going to take this and just to show you kind of the way you do it. I mean, it's really simple. You just literally... Hold it on there and gently roll it up in reverse. So you see, the image is now on the outside. You know, watch Pippa's video. <laughs> she explains it very well. Like I said, she's, she uses the, the toilet paper roll or the paper towel rolls. Um, but I didn't have any. I did have this. And I was able to make a tube out of it. Um, the one thing that is better with the, the toilet paper roll is it actually kind of slips onto it so it provides some protection from the outside. This is just like a core. You know how when your panties arrive on a foam roller? That's basically what this is. I, I didn't have any foam rollers either, so maybe somebody out there doesn't have any either. And... Um, they're still looking for something. So here's just an, an idea. If you've hung onto a mailer boot and you were looking for a solution to something like this with using the supplies you have on hand and uh, give this a try if you're interested and see how maybe that might work for you. All right. I think I'm needing to go take some more medication and go take a nap. So that's what I'm going to do. Hope everyone has a great day, and I will see you all soon.